Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Boho Brook. My name is Malika and I'm back with another travel vlog. This time we are going to Beer Billing in Himachal Pradesh. These are two towns, Beer and Billing, around 15 kilometers away from each other. Beer Billing or the paragliding capital of India is the world's second best paragliding site. So of course you guys know what are we going to do there. Not only paragliding, there are many other places and tourist attractions to see in Bay Billing. So you guys, sit back with good Wi-Fi and feel free to be a part of this amazing little trip. Let's go! resort surrounded by snow-capped mountains is the perfect place to stay for experiencing the simple countryside-like aesthetic. This resort is located within close proximity of the official paragliding site and is just at a 10-minute walking distance from the town center. First morning in Beer, we decided to do what beer billing is best at and has become the world's second highest in. Yup, and that's paragliding. The takeoff site was in billing around 8000 feet from sea level and as we drove up the mountain, the setting around us went from green trees to snow laid mountains. The landing site was back in Beer for around 4300 feet from sea level. So it was a memorable 15 to 20 minute flight from Billing to Beer. To carry me away. Carry me away
Beer can never disappoint its visitors when it comes to cafes. So after paragliding, we tried out this artistic looking mafia cafe which was just a walking distance away from the landing site. And I can tell you, with its appetizing dishes, we definitely weren't disappointed. The next sunrise in Beer had us chilling in the Colonel's Resort. But not for long, we left for the Eju Fort trek. It's a nice 2 km trek through the forest leading us to the Garhwali Mata temple dedicated to Goddess Kali. <laughs> we were flabbergasted by the view this place offered us of the Kangra Valley and the Jogindarnagar Valley. After returning to Beer Town Center, we were craving for South Indian food, and that led us to the most recommended Awas Cafe. This cozy cafe is best known for its hospitality and authentic South Indian food. But remember to be there early because it closes by 9 pm. Unfortunately, due to COVID, the monasteries were closed for visitors. So instead, we went for some bungee jumping. This one is world's second bungee jumping, which is built on a suspended bridge and second highest in North India. We were definitely ready for some adrenaline rush. Sorry for the yellow face on your screen. It's getting dark and I just found a lamp post under which I'm standing and shooting this. My battery is about to die. The typical line. Coming to the point, this was my best experience ever. This was my first time bungee jumping and choosing a 50 meter for a start it was a good decision their safety checks and everything was so so professional another thing is that they do not allow personal photography or video shooting so the video which you just saw was taken by them i am quite satisfied with the video they gave me anyways if you're coming here do not miss bungee jumping there are many other activities like sky cycling and also burma bridge there we can just try that out okay that's it Meet you tomorrow. Bye-bye. And what is better than ending our day with a good warm bonfire? Today we decided to explore the untouched valley, that is the Barot Valley. Very little information was available online about it and that got us hooked. 
Barot Valley, around 45 kilometers away from Bir, gives the most fairy tale-like scenery. Barot Valley has a descending scenery of ice-capped mountains sloping down to lush green mountains with the Yule River flowing through it. There is a small market nestled in the Barot Valley known as the Barot Bazaar. There isn't much to buy in this market but it's surely filled with friendly people and really friendly dogs. Back in Bir, the market, also known as the Colony, was lit up with aesthetic cafes, live singing programs and tasty smelling food. We thought of grabbing a pizza at the most spoken of Glider's Pizzeria. This little cafe is near the landing site in Beer, so finding it won't be problematic. They make really good wood-fired pizzas, that is, in the traditional dome-shaped letterbox. So, of course, it's gonna taste extremely yummy. Plus, they also offer pasta, waffles, and different teas and shakes. On our last day in Beer, we visited the famous Bejnath temple. This temple of Lord Shiva is in Kangra district, around 12 kilometers away. It's famous for its exotic wall carving depicting the Hindu mythology. It's believed that the water flowing from the temple has great medicinal qualities. So here we come to the end of another trip. If you have stayed till the end, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Now you guys have to do just four more things. First, do subscribe to the Boho Brook. You can click the red button down there or the watermark right here. I forget the direction every time. Two, give this video a thumbs up. Number three, comment down below whether you enjoyed the vlog and at which point did you feel like I'm going to be. And also you can tell me how can I improve my videos because no one's perfect. And last, do share this video because this is a very, very nice place for a friend's trip and a family trip. You can also follow me on Instagram. My ID is malika underscore j01. Wait, 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 don't go. A few months back, I had uploaded a dance cover on Nantiopa, which is the most viewed video in my entire channel by reaching 45k views and counting. So if you haven't watched, it's right there and there are many other dance covers and also other videos and vlogs that i made do check out my channel do those four things and then you can go that's it blackout i love you thank you i know that